Okay, guys, um, what we're going to do here is uh, the test on the third video. And what we have here is basically uh, two main switches that are dual pole, dual throw. They are off at the center position. And as the diagram shows, uh, we also have the battery connected in parallel. So we are creating, we're fitting in, in split sources. We have one bank of caps and, and batteries here and another one here. Well, the meter, that meter over there will be measuring the bank two, which is right here. And that meter will be measuring this second bank, which is this little 1.2 volt battery and the caps. Um, now, what the switch does, it's uh, simple. We have a common coming to the center of the switch, positive and negative from both C1, C2, and so on, and C3, C4. And when we switch forward, the switch will be joining the two ends in parallel. So that means positive with positive and negative with negative. So the battery, the, the charges receiving the from the from the motor are going to be evenly and more balanced out um, now we can we're on, on position one which is the first one we're just joining the two ends we're making c1 c2 in parallel i'm sorry serious um, so <clears throat> we have uh, s3 and s4 which are going to be killing batteries so and this is convenient and i'll show you why when we have we go to the to the real thing here we have 
These are my battery switches inside and outside I have the two uh, three position switches. Now they are off on so what if I turn this one on I get a reading there of 1.2 A3 and this is not good because I have charged these uh, caps so previously and if we go here we got 1.364 now I turn it back off and I check here and that's how much we got on batteries 1.4 and we turn it on here and we got 1.4 so now if I turn these on the motor will run on caps only that was a previous video that I run before and uh, I charge them out so I'm gonna do is discharge them they'll come down um, doing 4700 RPMs so batteries are off I want to take it to a to a position that the motor doesn't run anymore. So we start from a from a dead end on the caps. We we drain them out, and this is not the the way that it's supposed to be when we apply this to a regular uh, vehicle. They are always going to be charged and retaining the charge but I, I'm going to do a, this critical test to just demonstrate how far they could uh, go so right now motor is stopping I need to I want it to get to a complete stop that's it so we have 200 and yeah. And this is when I turn this switch down like that, it's on series. It joins on the front. So, this is the way the knob works. Uh, if we turn them on this way, it'll throw these two together. If we take it forward, it'll throw these two together. So, and I'm more, I have wire exactly as the. Uh, so we can disconnect it now if we go parallel motor won't run either so I'm gonna set them to off I'm gonna have a reading here 1.416 and we get a negative image on the other side of the meter because the meter is reversed and related to this one here and the current is going through the inductors, through the brushes, and showing, reflecting a charge, which is a little bit minor, but that uh, the resistance of, of the... Uh, we turn them off again, we just captured the environmental voltage. We turn them on again to measure this battery, and we got 1.414. And... Yeah, 1.416. 14, 14, 14, 16. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start first running the motor on the batteries. No caps. They're off. And I'm going to see what's the amount of uh, RPMs that we reach. We measure that. So we turn them off. We go on. And it's going to do the same thing that it did before on, on other videos. It's going to keep increasing. It's going to keep going on. Going up. 6600.
uh, and it's gonna get to 7,000. It's gonna keep going up 7,045, so 126. Now I'm gonna start charging one bank here in parallel. It dropped to 4,100. And if I drop it here, it really went down to 2,100. Uh, it's gonna keep coming back up and you see the amount of charges here. But this way is in parallel. You see how much faster is going this meter related to that one, and it's gonna keep balancing it out. And this is the important part of this. Is this? It's gonna keep catching up, and the motor will will keep on raising RPMs. Thirty-seven hundred. Thirty-seven hundred. 3800 so it's climbing up and it's going back to normal and then again we don't do this normally when we put it on an EV or on, on an electric vehicle or whatever appliance we put it on the caps retain the charge so when we start in the morning it start with a fresh charge and we're just demonstrating here how can it start from scratch from zero charge building up and still we get charge on the batteries and the batteries are warm motor is warm it's not it's, it's cold it's 90 degrees which is 89 90s room temperature in Florida so it's going 4600 and you see that both by now are at 800.8 and I actually this one went above that and this one was below but they'll 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 balance out Now the fact this is a advantage that as they get charged they are assisting rotation as you can see and and these motors you know that they are RPMs and toward go in a, in a straight up cur curve so it's obvious that if if he has higher RPMs it's going to have higher torque it's not like a symmetrical system so we are already at 0.9 So here we have all of them on, batteries are on, both batteries and caps are on parallel charge, equalizing. Now it'll get to the point that it'll go, now it's at 6,000, it'll get to the point that it'll be at 7,000. Uh, running RPMs and that's uh, the same RPMs when we started without gaps we are already at one volt and now remember that the voltage readout when we are in parallel is different than when we are in on, in serious connection so in parallel it's showing one volt but actually it's more than one volt uh, divided by two added and divided by two but we have here to uh, calculate the resistance on the coils plus the battery on now we are already on 6400 and the point is that we're gonna reach the 7000 we were in with batteries but we have a, a side bank of capacitors charged up
6700 Uh, it's only a tenth of a millivolt. Ten millivolts, which is nothing. Difference between the both uh, tap readings. They're never gonna be identical. Sixty-nine hundred. So we're getting to seven thousand. And I want to go above that. I want to reach the 7,000 RPMs. Like we had it on free running, no charging load. I wanted to make a complete video. I have tried and I have to split the video tracks in like two, three parts. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep running without editing this video. So you see the real uh, test, a complete no non-stop testing. So we are already on 7,000 RPMs. Uh, we got fully charged. We got not fully charged. They can take 2.7 inch volts. So we got 1.0, 1.092, it's going to go 1.1. Uh, we are back at 7,000. So the system restored while it's running. It accumulated energy on the side caps and it keeps going up. Now you had to realize that the adding in those meters are not only caps, but the batteries also. If we turn the batteries off, then we got full caps at parallel reading. I don't want to do that right now. I just want to. So we had 7,100 RPMs. And now we have to realize what's going on here. The, we have one side bank here that if we turn off one battery, in the beginning when we turn on, turn off one battery without the caps on, the motor will not run. But now I can turn off one battery bank and the motor will keep running because it's using the cap supply to fit the, the inductors on the other half. So we can swap in between caps and charge on, on side bank left and, and, and left and right. So we are at oh, 7200. That's pretty fair, 7200. We are about 100 and some RPMs above when we started. Now, I'm going to turn off, I'm going to turn off the system, um, that was the reading it took uh, when I turned off one of the, the, the batteries, so it went down on RPMs, but it was 7,140 something. Uh, now let's take a, a, a reading now, the whole system is off, it's measuring nothing. So we measured this battery here, and we got 1.3, we lost about 100 millivolts. Now we turn this off, we, we got 1300, 1.3, 1.299. So we also lost like 100 millivolts. They were at 1.4. Now, we read here. 
we got 2.1 and batteries are off and this is off only on this bank we got 2.1 volts and we turn this off and we measure this bank in series of course we got 2.199 volts now you guys tell me um, I started with 1.4 I lost 100 millivolts and I got 2.2 .2 on each bank 2.1 so uh, turn it on again so now we have uh, about 1. Point something volt 1.05 on each cap because they are in series they are dual caps here so on each side now, it is understood that is, if I turn on the switch just for caps, motor is going to blow out in RPMs to the 7,000 that we were originally on. So, batteries are off. We just have this one on. And right side back is 2.197. Now, let's turn on the motor. Batteries are off. Uh, we got 13.8 13.8 so we we achieve a boost here 13.368 with just the pure charge that the motor put on the two the four caps in charging it in a, in a couple of minutes so we and if we go batteries we didn't lose anything we are back on 7000 like this we, we are already on 7000 and we see that now we boosted up on just one bank we go 9300 we boost it up on this bank we go 8900 we boost it up on both banks we go 11 now watch this by turning off the batteries I accelerated even more because the batteries are already in the middle of the way for the caps so it's got to be done um, once that we have a fully charged banks then we go full blast on it we have to turn off batteries because they are going to be uh, retaining uh, you know uh, not allowing the, the fully RPMs to develop so thanks for watching guys and now it's time to move up into bigger machines. These, these we are limited with this little small machine here. It's it's only uh, we are adding. We have the power supply on on the same side of the charging supply, and and because we only have two gates here. Now when we go into four gates motors that four stat or four brush, uh, like or or like the Mag three, which is three and three, which is even greater machine then we are going to have much better uh, running performance and, and the, the charging capacity are going to go higher everything is going to go high but i wanted to demonstrate on a small scale first uh, what this little motor is capable of doing and handling manipulating the energy the way it does and uh, the ford stage uh, for battery for a uh, brush system will be able to have the battery the power source separated uh, on, a, on a completely separated circuit than the, the charging bank and we can have uh, a better isolated system that way from charging and storing Thanks for watching.